Hello. Good morning. I'm very spacey. So please bear with. I I my lazy arm's broken for some reason. I went up to try and use it and look. So I'm balancing on some cans. But I'm sad. My lazy arm's broken. I've had this like for years and years. Oh well, we'll get a new one. So, how is everyone? I am very spacey, as you can tell. But I wanted to film. Because it's been a couple of days. And I wanted to say hi. And... Just that, I don't know, I just talk about some stuff, I guess. Um, hmm. I think we're going to do some painting today. Because Casey has some spray paints. And then I got some acrylic paints the other day. And we haven't used them yet. So. I might do some painting. And that'll be fun. I'm going to tidy. And let it clean the rafties out. Mm. No, I wanted to talk today because. <sighs> Because I'm just as I'm an awkward bean. I'm an awkward stubborn bean. Like like I I feel like I'm really in the denial phase right now. And I don't think that's good for my like if I was an influencer and like people were looking at me for education and I feel like I would be a bit more worried about it, but I'd, uh, about how I, I don't know what I'm saying. Just that I'm really in the denial phase and really, uh, not wanting it to be real and just ignoring it all and just forgetting and pushing it all down and just being the spacey mess and not switching and I just being a stubborn stubborn about it. A stubborn bull. Uh yeah. So like I've just not been wanting it to be real, you know. I've just been wanting to ignore it all and the other rooms and the rest of the inner world. I just don't want it to be real. Just ignore it. I've been real spacey and just struggling a bit, I guess, with all past week or so. Just really denying it all I guess I found a tiny pad in my bed it's not gonna focus ah tiny pad you can see how much my hands just shake and move just by I'll just be trying to focus this in the camera. Come on. Ah! God damn it. Um. 
Ray, just, Ray, Raya has been missing for a few days, a few weeks, really. She's not, like, cause for concern missing. Because she did this the first, when she first arrived as well. She kind of was here for me for, the, for like, a few days. Coming out to the front, you know, switch and being, being that protector. But then she just fucked off for, like, two weeks. And any time I needed her, she wasn't there. Because she was off greeting everyone and meeting everyone and introducing herself to everyone in the headspace. And then she's been missing the past, like, week or so because she's been off doing that again in the rest of the inner world we've discovered. She's, like, gone to the pool and everything say hi to everybody which is her and I I don't I don't I, I, I I'm just bad when it comes to finding out there's more you know I was I was quite happy with a little system of six or seven altars but now we're bordering on nearly 30 that's really scary and I don't want to be more I don't want more but, like, just this straight-up denial and straight-up being a stubborn brat about it is, like, not doing me any good either. But, because it's me being stubborn, what can you do about being stubborn? Because it's like, no, I just don't want it. I can't do it. Mm -mm -mm. Nothing you can do is going to convince me. Be noisy, brother. Don't knock it off. They always knock their water bottle off. I need to get them a new cage soon. Because they are growing fast. But it's difficult. It's difficult trying to find one that's going to be the right size. Because obviously we need it bigger. But... Not too big, because our flat is shoe size. A shoe box size. So. <clears throat> and then there was somebody giving one away on this Facebook page for free. But then they're like two, three hours away by train. And I don't know how I'd get to them. Uh, just, I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out. All the ones local as well, like charging way too much for secondhand cages, and it's like I wouldn't. If I could afford that, I wouldn't pay that for what you're giving me because it's a secondhand cage. I could buy a brand new one for like a ten or more. Don't be stupid. Oh no, my camera's going to cut out soon. I have a lot more to say though. I'm so spacey. <sighs> like, I feel that people think that dissociating is like you're fine. You're like, oh yeah, hi, hi. Oh, you're. Right. I would like a coffee, please. And then you just go. Oh yeah, thanks for my coffee. You know, like, sometimes you can drift off like that. But most of the time I'm, I'm like this. It's gonna cut out. I'm gonna... Nice. Um... Yeah. What was I saying? Spacey. Most people think that Spacey is like, stabbing back to reality which sometimes it can be you know when you dissociate quite heavily sometimes you get that snap back to reality kind of thing but most of the time for us anyway dissociation just feels like 
I don't know. Just kind of feels like you're high on something. You know, your head's just not there. I'm trying my best to focus forward and or like when you're sleepy and you're like trying to read and you're going and you can't keep your eyes open, it's like that. When your body is your body is doing something but it's not, it's my head. But it feels like my body, because it feels like it's in my physical head. Feels like my physical head has got like a bag on it, and I'm tr bag full of water and fish, and I'm trying to see through it. Like, so like it's muffled, and I'm trying to get what I want to say out, but also trying to get the right information in is hard it's difficult it's yeah and like like i said i was just being i'm just being a stubborn brat about it i don't i don't know what to do about me being stubborn about it I think that I realised a lot of my fear of switching comes from that post I put on Instagram about a bridge. When I was a teenager, we I would switch and whoever came out would always try and jump off this particular bridge that I went to school nearby and my friends had to restrain me and would have to fight them so that they didn't jump over a bridge into into a motorway and I think that that really left like a deep fear in us that you know that someone's just gonna jump off the motorway and like I know and the thing is, though, is that even if I know who's coming out, even if it's Toast or Layla or someone that I know and trust, I still don't want to do it. I don't want to let go. It's kind of selfish. I don't want to, I don't like being left out. I don't like sharing my body or time. I don't like sharing Casey, you know? I like I don't want to say goodbye to them because I don't know how long it's gonna be until I see them again, and that's really scary. So I know that I've just been rambling about this for ages, but that's what's going on at the moment, isn't it? I am so fucking spacey. This is not okay. Can you see it in my eyes? See, like... When I look at myself when I'm spacey, I can see that it's me. Mm. But it's weird. It's like I can see that 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 image of there is is is. Bo is my body, but I I can't quite make the correlation that is this. If you get me, like I feel quite 
I know that that's blue, but I'm detached from that, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, pal, so I'm just here to share my, my story. Share my popcorn with you. I need to learn to switch. Well, I need to learn to let go and realize that it's gonna happen. And if I don't let it happen that I'm just gonna end up like this all the time. But, you know, it's like, it's like I said, in in that video with Chloe ages ago it's like you're drowning it's fucking scary you can't see you can't breathe you're panicking you're floundering all you gotta do is put your head under the water and reach your hand out that's scary putting your whole head under the water when you already can't see or breathe and just putting your hand up and hoping that someone will take you and you don't know who it's going to be they don't know what they're going to do with your body they don't know whether they're going to push your head back under the water and kill you or whether they're going to drag you to safety whether they're going to go and spend all your money or whether they're going to starve the body, harm the body anything, you know, you don't know but at least you're not drowning anymore and for the past two weeks I've been drowning constantly I just can't I'm too scared to put my head under you know but what, like it's gonna get too tiring eventually and it's gonna fucking happen I know like I know that it happens when I'm falling asleep and when when I completely not realised, you know, I'm not paying any attention to who's out or what's going on or and then like you know, I let go without realising it and then a switch will happen. But any time I'm consciously aware of myself going, I'm like, No, stay here, stay here, don't go. But it's so scary, so scary when you, when you've hardly lived any of your life, because other people have lived it for you. I'm I'm 22 years old, but I've only ever seen maybe three of those birthdays, or you know, I've I've only ever been actually here for maybe half of that time mm. I think maybe that's why there's a lot of loss of it, loss of childhood and then lots of lots of age sliding and things in this community it's because even even the most unaware host even a host that has no idea that they have DID and an air, DID is working perfectly. They would only have 50% or less of their time, you know? They would have a lot less of their time than any normal person would. So, it feels like they've been alive for less. If you've only been conscious for half of your 22 years, if you've only been conscious and awake for 11 of your 22 years you're only going to feel like an 11 year old or you're only gonna do you know what I mean you're only gonna know 11 years worth of life not 22 because you, you haven't someone with DID there is no way that any of the altars have survived and lived through a whole 20 the whole life that they have lived because even if they switched out for 10 minutes that's 10 minutes of time gone 
Because that's the whole point of DID, is the time. That was a weird tangent and... and I'm gonna go then. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I don't remember what I was just talking about. Eleven year olds is all I remember. <laughs> uh, if you're twenty, yeah. If yeah, I know. I remember now. But. Yeah, I'm going to go and hopefully feel less spacey. I'm sorry that this video has just been nonsense, but I guess you get to see what it's like when someone is um, spacey mess beyond belief. I'm not sure who I am, where I am, what's going on. Bye-bye.